uh, in my previous video I have uh, covered uh, the precautions and procedures and considerations to be kept uh, when loading bulk cargoes in general uh, but I also mentioned that I will be covering specific bulk cargoes in separate videos now I have covered uh, sulfur and today I will be covering uh, rice when loaded on ships and I will give you the links to all my previous videos I hope you will watch all these videos to gain a good knowledge on the topic of uh, bulk loading of uh, uh, cargo or different types of cargo and what are their special requirements because it cannot be the requirements or procedures or precautions cannot be just generalized to all cargos different cargos have different properties because of which you should have a knowledge of their special properties also in the exam sometimes you may be asked about a specific cargo so it is a good idea for you to take a note or make a note of some of the special of these cargoes so rice is uh, treated as a grain cargo when it is loaded in bulk so when it is not loaded in bags and it is loaded in bulk it's treated as grain cargoes uh, for the definition purpose rice ranges from paddy cargo rice white rice broken rice rice dust rice meal and rice bran whether beaten or unbeaten uh, the purpose is for the purposes of the rice being treated as a grain cargo the storage factor of the rice will be considered from 1.34 to 2.09 metric cube per ton of cargo uh, rice is usually shipped in bulk uh, but the cargo is liable to heat and sweat which results in its weight loss varying from 1.5 to 3.5% and this is something that you have to be mindful of when loading for the cargo of rice because you may load a certain amount of rice in bulk at the load port and then when you go to the discharge port uh, the figures may vary but uh, you should be mindful uh, that cargo of rice does result in its weight loss from 1.5 to 3.5%. Uh, also rice is uh, susceptible to damage by very strong odors and scented or smelly goods so such kind of goods should not be stored in the same compartment as rice otherwise the cargo will spoil and the next port or the discharge port will not accept this cargo the most important thing to remember for rice is that good ventilation and protection of cargo from large amount of moisture should be followed uh, especially because sometimes the ship sides decks and steel bulkheads may carry moisture so it's important that you carry out a thorough inspection and cleaning and keep them dry when you are carrying cargo of rice because rice that is damp or wetted in storage rods quickly so it will start to rot quickly and it will generate heat and emit foul and smell all of which will affect other rice also in the vicinity so even if part of the rice cargo starts to get damped because of water it will start to rot quickly and damage the other cargo in the vicinity as well uh, rice bran should be stored away from other goods that are liable to be infested by movement of insects during the voyage when you are carrying rice a very thorough dunaging is required so if you don't know what dunaging is dunaging is the use of boards uh, for cargo storage and securing and also to prevent its shifting uh, use spar sealing to prevent any bags coming in contact with the side plating so these spar ceilings are basically mm -hmm. artificial ship structures or artificial ship sides that are made to prevent the bags from coming in contact with the ship's side plating frames etc and uh, because they may get damaged by the moisture and uh, the sparsely will also ensure that there is free circulation of air between the ship's actual structures and the rice cargo you may also use bamboo to segregate the cargo from the steel structures and again the main reason is because the steel structure may have moisture on it which may spoil the rice cargo when it is carried in bulk and if it comes in contact with that moisture uh, bulk shipments in terms of bulk shipments brown rice with husk of or white rice with bran of uh, or milled rice can be shipped in bulk and holes need to be prepared as you would for grain cargo uh, and requirements of the grain code should be followed <laughs>